that's that good sh What's up everyone, AceNX back here for another video. Today, we have a bit more of a tutorial video. So let's be real, we all love Sonic 3 Air. It's just an amazing, like, product. Not product. It's a game. It's a game with some help from fans to make it an even better game. But here's the thing, a lot of us like to have our games organized. Like, look at this, they're all on Steam. It's great. This one isn't on Steam, though. That's for a different video. So let's say you want Sonic 3 Air on Steam. Here's how you do it. First, you go here to add a game. No matter what screen you're on, be it store, library, it's always going to be at the bottom here. Add a game. So here you want to click add a non-Steam game. And it's going to give you a bunch of different programs that it thinks, hey, it uses an exe file, it might be a game, or in some way it launches. So here you're going to look for Sonic 3 Air, which for me is right here. This is going to be blurred out because I don't need you guys seeing my files. So you go add selected programs. And if I scroll down to S, Sonic 3 Air. Now it's going to pop up like this, and that's pretty boring. So next step, you go to the link to the description, go to this Google Drive. Right here you see Sonic 3 Angel Island Revisited in non-Steam game art. Go here, you hit download. And we're just going to wait for that to download, and then we'll be right back. Alright, so next up we're going to take this file, which we just downloaded. Slap that right on our desktop. And just to make things easier, let's go extract here. Extract the files. Boom, we got a folder full of images. And here you're going to have four files. The Sonic 3 Air logo, Sonic 3 Air box art, Sonic 3 Air banner, and Sonic 3 Air background. These are all made by someone who makes Steam Grid stuff, and I will have them linked down in the description for credit. Because I didn't make these, I'm just teaching you how to use them. That's the Ace and X way. So next we're going to go to Steam. Here, this is a personal thing. I'm going to go to Manage. No, I'm, I'm going to go to Properties. I'm going to change this to say Sonic 3 Angel Island Revisited. Just like how the actual developer lists the game. Revisited. Thank you. This is also going to be blurred because, again, you don't need my information. So bingo, it's right there. Next, right here in this big space, you want a background image, like most Steam games have. So right here, set custom background. And you are going to go to your desktop, this folder right here, or wherever you placed it, double click it, and grab the one that says Sonic 3 Air Background, and hit open. There you go, that's a pretty background. But I don't want this gray title, that looks bad, and nasty, and disgusting, but it's got a cool name. So right now we're going to hit set custom logo, once you right click in this space. Sonic 3 Air logo. Open. Alright, that looks even better. But in my actual games, on my home, there's no box art. And that's boring. So once again, right click, and we're going to go manage, and set custom artwork. Sonic 3 Air box art. And now it fits in with the rest of your Steam games on your home. But, let's say you actually want it to show up here as well. There's one more thing you have to do. So you're going to have to quickly go in to your game and hit play. Now that you've actually gone into playing the game, that's all you have to do. You can exit and go back to your home. Now at the top here, it's going to show your recent games. Now here it says Sonic 3, but there's no artwork here. Even though we just set artwork everywhere, there's still one more you got to do. You right click here manage and once again set custom artwork here you're going to use sonic 3 air banner and there you go you now have sonic 3 angel island revisited in your steam library it's pretty simple but there were no good guides for it so i assumed everyone else might need some help as well so if we go to it it's all set up hope this video has been helpful and otherwise you guys have a great day